The Federal Bureau of Prisons' first and oldest institution to hold women convicted of federal crimes is Alderson Federal Prison Camp, located in the Allegheny Mountains in Alderson, West Virginia. This minimum security camp has also been the home of Company 25, an all-volunteer, all-female fire brigade, which is one of two fire departments operating inside a federal prison, the other being at the Federal Correctional Institution in El Reno, Oklahoma. The Bureau of Prisons had a deadly fire at Danbury, Connecticut in 1977, and five inmates died. And after that time, the Bureau of Prisons started looking for ways to keep that from happening again. So they uh, began fire crew um, training throughout several facilities in the United States. So this program began in 1978 and it has uh, been a constant. In addition to providing firefighting services for the federal prison camp, the brigade provides backup for local volunteer fire departments in the community. They are trained, we know their trainer, so we know their level of training. Right now, at this second, I wouldn't hesitate to go in any burning building with any of them because they are very well trained, very well equipped. We have always been blessed that the inmate fire crew could come out, you know, as the second backup for us. And we knew when they got there, they were trained at the same level. They were able to function as the same. And in fact, in some cases, they were probably better than the volunteers that we had because they were better trained in, on a regular basis. The female adults in custody on the fire brigade learn viable firefighting skills and are trained in the same program as volunteer firemen. These skills include training on hoses. Fire suppression tactics. Searching for someone in a dark, smoky room with limited to zero visibility. I got something. Right in front of me. Okay. The Great job. Good boy. And simulated fire response. The program not only teaches firefighting skills, but it instills teamwork, leadership, and responsibility. And I think if the ladies go out with skills and those three criterias, it allows them a greater chance to not come back to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Um, gives them the skill where they make money and overall responsibility where they haven't shown to have that in the past really inst having that instilled in them has them, you know, a notch ahead of any other inmates in the Bureau of Prisons. These women have learned valuable lessons not only about firefighting, but about themselves as well. They did a good job of doing the, picking out the people who they were going to let be in this fire department. I feel like the people are here are here for the right reasons. We all want to come out of here better. We all every day strive to help each other. We work well together. I don't think we've had any disagreements even, I don't know if you saw us today trying to hook up the hoses, we haven't done that. So that was kind of our first team event and I feel like everybody succeeded and you know, we all take each other's opinions and we go with it. Um, it helps the community because it shows that um, even while we're in prison, we're working to be restored back and that we, you know, I'm a mother, I want to be your neighbor. <laughs> So, you know, and I want, I would like to get back into the uh, career type um, of work. So I just think that this is a positive thing for us to do. I want to give back. Um, it doesn't, you know, I, I want to be able to train and teach younger children, teenagers. I want to be able to take them from 
a horrible environment that they have been in and be like, look, I've been in your situation. I've ran the streets, I've done all of what you guys have done. I want to be able to divert them from that type of situation and train them in a different way and make a better view in life than what they've gone through and what they are and what they're going through. FPC Alderson's Fire Brigade is a great example of first step back programming designed to help reduce the risk that adults in federal custody will go back to criminal behaviors upon their release from prison. Eligible federal prisoners who successfully complete such recidivism reduction programs can earn additional time credits allowing for placement in pre-release custody earlier than otherwise allowed. Amongst other criteria, eligibility requires the adults in custody to maintain clear conduct, participate in the financial responsibility program if required, and follow programming recommendations made by Federal Bureau of Prisons employees. Additionally, the First Step Act changed the way good time credit is calculated and adults in custody can earn up to 54 days of good time credit for every year of their imposed sentence, rather than each year of time served. Taking full advantage of the opportunities provided to them while incarcerated, 17 of the females in the class featured in this video completed the firefighting skills training program and passed with a perfect score of 100%.